We're all dying to find out, of course, where this is going to go. Um, what, why were they arguing? Why have they had this big row? Oh, uh, it's been building up for a while. The bickering uh, has just started because uh, Belle Dingle has been, um, like, last night, I don't know if anyone saw Emma Dale, the, uh, the pig yeah. got murdered. Uh, and so she's been getting a few, uh, you know, things like that's been happening. And um, Vanessa is the one that keeps saying, well, you know, you, you shouldn't just, uh, you know, it, something is going to happen, that there might be somebody from her past. Um, and so she's charity, yeah. Yeah, charity is the one who's saying, stop, you, you know, you're making it worse, mm. feeding to a paranoia. And that's when they start um, sort of bickering and arguing. So have you, I mean, this is going to be the big who done it. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 12 names. <laughs> on the train, on the way down, <laughs> the on the list. List. don't say it, don't, so, I promise I won't. But we do know that she gets stabbed because that's out there. Yes, absolutely. Um, and so there's this kind of hooded, shadowy figure. When did you film it? What was the filming like of the. We filmed that. I know when it was. It was. It was actually. It was Monday, the nineteenth of November. That's I know that very because it is. And I know <laughs> because my cousin Haley got married on uh, the seventeenth <laughs> of November, and I knew I was doing uh, the stabbing on the Monday. Um, so it was. Oh, it was outside. It was absolutely chucking it down with rain, and I spent like the whole day just laying, lying there. Yeah, in puddles. But freezing. please tell me that this isn't the end of your character, though, because you're such a great yeah. character. Now you can't tell me, can you? I can't. Oh, that really annoys me. I know. I know. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. What about when you get these storylines? You know, do you? Do they tell you this is coming, or is it literally, you know, the scripts arrive on whatever night, Sunday night, and you open them up and go, <gasps> Yeah, I mean, I did know... I knew this was happening. Um, Jane, our executive producer, Jane Hudson, she she told me. But uh, I, I'm one of these where I love... Like, when I did The Royal as well, I love getting my scripts and, you know, it's like reading a book. And you're dead excited to see what happens next. So I'm not up there all the time saying, oh, what's happening next? Cos, you know, I, I get excited by reading you it. You don't get nervous, it. though, on scenes like that, thinking, are they killing me off? <laughs> well, I'd like to think that you'd be told. Telling me like, subtly that I'm yeah. finished. No, normally, if uh, if you were to come to an end, then uh, you would get you'd brought get upstairs. Told. Yeah. yeah. And, and it told. is not the only thing that's happening in Emmerdale, is it? Because I hear congratulations is an order. Oh, in real life? Yes, yes. in real life. Yes. I'm looking at your yes. samples. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I got engaged last month, yes. Oh. To your boss? How I is know, that? it's a, it, when you say it like that, because when I was sat in the dressing room and I was listening, you're like, oh, she's marrying her boss, and it just sounds really well, weird. Well, no. your boss is Kate Brooks, who is an yeah. Emmerdale producer, so she I'm is. assuming you met at work. We did, yeah, a couple your of years ago. your eyes meet across the set? Across the coffee machine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the only time we ever see each other at work. Now and again, we'll like, but hi, mm. and who's getting tea tonight? You know, <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, um, we started going out a couple of years ago now, and and, and I've got you to, yeah, this is the it's most me. spectacular yeah. proposal. You have to Aww. tell everybody. Re well, yeah. so basically, it was the eighth of December last year. You're really she's good, good with dates. dates. I know. <laughs> I can't even remember I'm my like children's dates. Dates. <laughs> dates. Although our birthdays, anniversaries, just ask me. <laughs> um, uh, sorry if I've forgotten anybody's birthday now. <laughs> but. Uh, I hired out um, a small local cinema and I'd said to Kay, oh, can you keep that date free? Because uh, my agent has sent an email saying there's a, a special screening of The Greatest Showman and she'd never actually seen it um, oh. at the cinema. Mm -hmm. But we both love the music. Mm. Oh. And um, so she said, oh, yeah. I said, I don't know, you know what it's about. And we got there and I'd um, a couple of my school friends, Philippa and Sally, were there, dotted around with their families. And my brother drove us with uh, my niece and nephew. My brother was in on it. And um, what I'd actually done is hired a flash mob of The Greatest Showman. So oh. they came on and I did all the... Don't know what's going on here, do you? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Funny. Then they started singing. They were absolutely amazing. And then uh, after the song "A Million Dreams," which is a song that mm. we really love, oh. um, one of the performers gave me the microphone. I got up and I just said, "So, Kay, um, yeah, you're not here to see a film, The Greatest Showman. Uh, you know, I've been fibbing. I've got you here for another reason. Can you come out?" And then I just said, uh, "I'm going to ask you a question, but before you answer, there's somebody else that's uh, going to help me." And my little, our little dog Fred, our little cavapoo, oh. he was at the back oh. and he had a little jumper on saying, Mummy, please say yes. Oh. Oh. But what was really scary and what was frightening for me, I was like holding my breath because when the music started and they started singing, all I could think of was, 
Fred's at the back. If he starts barking oh, now, yeah. she's going to be all <laughs> over the bit. must have been pretty but, confident yeah. she was going to say yes. Yeah. I'm going to say she said no. No, she didn't. She no. said no. Were you really <laughs> confident she was going to say yes? Did you yeah, spoke... we had spoken about it. Have yeah. you always been a hopeless romantic? Because that is like the it's dream so game. I just it's wanted really something oh. different and uh, to really... And uh, she said she didn't actually take in what had happened until about two days after. Oh. And what about the... Wedding? Have you made any wedding plans yet? Yeah? No, we haven't. Days? We just come back from Berlin. Uh, we got back on Sunday. We went after the new... New Year for a couple of days and we sort of discussed it and we're not going to do a big wedding I think we're just going to go abroad just the two of us oh yeah. how lovely yeah nice. so it's about us you know so, yeah. and, uh, and then we'll have a massive party afterwards oh it's the, oh. It's the most beautiful proposal story I love it it's so um, but back to that's your real life <laughs> back to Emmerdale that continues tonight is that not every night isn't it at seven yes. o'clock yeah and then the big story starts tomorrow tomorrow yeah tomorrow at seven o'clock